Can you explain to our listeners, because not everybody knows the porn lingo, what a bukkake is. So the bukkake, the ones, the American bukkake in particular, was they got 50 random guys off Craigslist that all had to go to, uh, what was it, AIM at the time? Yeah, AIM. AIM testing. Um, get their STD test. Get their STD test. And they all jerked off onto one girl's face. Mm-hmm. And um, the girl essentially did like a strip tease, and she was right there in the center. And I think a couple of the guys had been approved for her to blow right for a minute or two to kind of give a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and then after that, it was, well, I guess there was actually more than 50 guys, but the first 50 guys to pop were the ones that got paid. <laughs> oh, oh, so there's a contest. It's kind of there's, a contest. Wow. Because okay. some of these guys yeah, couldn't get hard. No, some you're of right. them couldn't You'll be come, sitting I mean, there forever if you wait for like the last... Oh my God, somebody should do a movie called like The Last Bukaki Guy. And it's Which just was like pretty much me. If you remember some of my early days, even with you, like it took me forever to come. Like, I don't remember. Oh, oh, like I, I, I mean, it could have just been in my head. It was just like, I feel so bad. This taking forever. I know everybody just wants to be done with the day. Yeah, I don't remember that. But yeah, it, um, I think I was guy number like 48, 47. Oh, wow. So you just made the cutoff. Just made the cutoff. But oh they were like, God. you're hard. You can do this. And at least you were hard the whole time. Like you had no problem with that. Yeah. Um, but no, you should be actually performing, not just yeah. jerking off with half of these guys are in masks. Not that anybody's looking at their face anyway. But yeah. Don't they like cut their face off anyhow? A lot of them. Yeah. But if they pan through the crowd. Yeah. You can kind of see it. So. And they're all wearing shoes. Oh, they're all wearing. Oh, well. You got to wear Did shoes, ever, right? Because there's like a lot. Who, who's to clean up after that? That's my question. You know, some PA. Like what so sad, happy. sad PA has to clean up all that come from 50 guys? And they better have a shower on set. Do they have a shower on set? Please tell me they had a shower on set. It was the one over right next to the airport. Well, I can't even think of the name of it, but it was the one with the, the guy with the sword. The guy with the, Was that the place that yeah. got... Belgian or something like not that wasn't the place that got burned down right and the guy got killed uh, no I mean it was the the guy with the sword that killed a guy there and then there was the standoff on the cliff face that wasn't the guy with the wolf dog I don't remember there ever being a dog okay. there I just remember uh, being kind of like a really beat up warehouse right next to Van Nuys airport um, so no shower there might have been like one shower Okay, because I'm just thinking that the poor girl, like, yeah. after taking a load from 50 guys, like, you, I think she at least, yeah, you got baby wipes are not going to do the job. No, <laughs> got to give that girl a no, shower. No, yeah, like you really, I got to consider that actually. I had a whole, we had like a mind geek summit, and one of the topics was locations without showers. Like, you have that has to be taken into consideration if it's right. a location without a shower and it's like an anal scene, like you can't book that place. No, which fair enough, I get that, but. As a producer, finding locations is the hardest part of my job, yeah. um, especially in line with like what the company wants. So they don't always have showers. It's kind of a struggle. I guess you could come like with a with one of those camp showers. Yeah, I mean, and there's some locations I've gone to that have showers. You're like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I know I'm nasty as fuck right now, but yeah. no, I oof, I think <laughs> yeah. It looks like the cause and cure for a lot of stuff is in that shower. And I think I'm better <laughs> off. I'll do a hose outside and uh, I can make it home. I got towels in the car to line my seats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 